All right, so I found a guest. Tell me your name. Diane Coleman. All right, Diane, tell me, what do you expect to see out there on the runway tonight? Well, a lot of beautiful young ladies and some beautiful designs. And, of course, the designers are always exciting to see what they come up with. Uh, but, of course, especially one special person, my granddaughter. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, I can make it better. What else do I need to see, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You can bleep some of this out, I hope. <laughs> um, it'll be fine. You're doing right. great. So, um, any other thoughts about Charlotte Fashion Week? No, I know that Rita does a fabulous job. Uh, we've only come to a couple events with her because my granddaughter's not that old. So uh, okay. she hasn't been doing this very long, but the um, events that she has, the one that we had at Ballantyne Country Club last year, was phenomenal. So I say anything that she organizes is top-notch. Excellent. All right, so how old is your daughter? She's 15. Granddaughter, I should Grand say. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, granddaughter. Yes, 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 yes. 15, that's excellent. 15, so, yeah, yeah now so I see fun. why she's getting started. Yes, it's, a awesome. little, it's the fun stage where she's super excited, we're super excited, and so we'll see where it takes us from there. Right. You know? Well, thank blessings you. to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Right, so, tell me your name. I'm Hunter Andrews. Tell me a little bit about what you're here at Charlotte Scene Fashion Week uh, Friday for. I'm here at Charlotte Scene Fashion Week to just show a few of my designs that I'm passionate about and I'm excited to let people see what I can do. All right, so tell me a little bit about your designs. Um, so I started designing when I was eight years old. Um, I picked up a pillowcase and made it into a vest, so it's pretty cool. And uh, from there I just kept sewing and now I just really have a passion for making beautiful garments to make women feel happy in them and really confident. Oh, that sounds great. I can't wait to see them on the runway. Tonight's going to be spectacular, I can tell. <laughs> well, thanks so much. So if we were looking for you, where would we find you? On um, social media, maybe? Yeah, so I have a social media account. It's called My Marlo. It's named after my grandma and grandpa, so... That's sweet. Yeah, and I have a Facebook page, too, but it's the same name. Okay, and what again was that? It's My Marlo. My Marlo. Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so right, much. So, tell me your name. I'm Rebecca. All right, so tell me what you're expecting to see out on the runway tonight. My son Griffin Tillam is here. He's walking for Classic Man and also um, Untitled Facade and oh. looking forward to it. Nice, very good. So, have you been to um, Fashion Charlotte seen fashion shows before? A, a couple, yes, a couple. And uh, this is the first time we're here at this location, so it's nice. It's working out good. Okay, yeah, that's right. This is a new location. New location, location. yes, ma'am. Great. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so tell me your name. My name is Kathy Buckley. And tell me, what do you do? I am the owner and editor of Charlotte Living Magazine, who is a sponsor tonight. We have the program inside the magazine. Very exciting. Yes, I finally found it. Thank you. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah. So, um, tell me a little bit about Charlotte Fashion Week and how you doing? Very exciting. We did a great photo shoot with Rita and Hayde, who's also a judge from Nordstrom, yep. um, up at NASCAR. Eric Jones. That was a lot of fun. And oh, we shot nice. the cover there at that time. And one of the models for the cover is here tonight. So, oh, very we're just good. here for the show and getting to do a little judging. Right. For an upcoming photo shoot for our holiday issue, we're going to do the 12 days of Christmas, and we're going to pick the 12 favorite models from the whole week. So, oh, yeah, oh, it'll nice. be fun. Now, that makes sense. I was wondering where you got the number 12 from. All right. Yeah, I think Rita and Hayde kind of came up with that idea, and I loved it. So we're going for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if we wanted to find you on social media, where would we find you? You would find me at Kathy Buckley, and you would also want to find Charlotte Living, Charlotte Living Magazine. That's right. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. So I am here with one of the judges of Charlotte Scene Fashion Week. Tell me your name. Uh, it's Hayde, Hayde Robinson. All right, tell me a little bit about you, Hayde. Uh, I am the stylish sales manager for Nordstrom, the, uh, one of the stores here and one of the supporters for tonight's event. Uh, I am also the style contributor to Charlotte Living Magazine, which everyone has on their chair tonight, because inside is the official program for Charlotte Fashion Week. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I was wondering where that was. Yes, yes, <laughs> inside the magazine. All right. So if we were looking for you on social media, how do we find you? 
uh, at uh, carolinastyleguy.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Thank you. All right, so I found myself a designer here. Tell me your name. Sharon Montgomery. And tell me a little bit about your line. Um, well, this is actually my first time sewing and attempting to do a fashion show. So I only have one item today to show, okay. and that's in the recyclable. Ooh, it's going to be fantastic then. I sure hope so. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. All right, so um, tell me a little bit about it that you'd care to share at this time. Uh, let's see. Well, I think it's nice. It's pretty. Uh, it's unique. I've been looking at some of the other stuff that's everybody said nice. So we'll see how it stands up. Right. And if we were looking for you on social media, where would we find you? Um, right now, it's kind of limited to Facebook. Okay. I'm really just um, finishing school and starting in my career and so I'm almost done. I got a couple more years to go so I really haven't really got a line going or I and actually I'm actually going to school to do interior designing. Ooh. So, so this might play into that. This you know, this was kinda like one of those things at the a last minute thing that I got, oh I'll give it a try. Right. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well all right, so um <laughs> where on Facebook did you say that we could find you at? Um, just at, under my name, Sharon Montgomery. Okay, thank you. You can like me. <laughs> yeah, let's do that too. Okay. All right, so I'm here with another judge. So tell me your name. My name is Crystal Betts. I am the Women's Designer Apparel Manager at Nordstrom South Park Mall. All right, so tell me a little bit about um, how easy is it to judge this show? Oh my goodness, it's so hard to judge. There's so many different good models and different designers really really awesome last night was definitely a treat right right no that was a great show last night too yeah, yeah it was for sure so if we were looking for you on social media where do we find you well you can follow me at crystal k-r-y-s-t-l-e-m-i-i -I. i'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger um i showcase my fashion style day to day and i also have a cute little son oh nice oh i'll be looking that up Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, much. so tell me your name. Uh, um, my name is Malou Cordery. All right, tell me about your line. Well, I am i don't have a business, so this is for me, this is just all voluntary to give back something for the community. So I usually design a recyclable um, outfit. So today I'm doing a recyclable dress for Nordstrom store. Ooh. So I can't wait to see that on the runway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone likes it. Right? <laughs> yes, it's made of paper. <laughs> oh, a paper one. Yes. All right, so is that the medium that you like to work with the most? Yes, yes. I usually work with mostly paper and also with the Opera Carolina. I do uh, several designs for them already. And uh, right now, one of my uh, design is in, um, in the library in downtown. Oh, so... Go check that one out. And um, how do we find you on social media if we're looking for you? Uh, you can find me at my Facebook page as um, Malu Tabada Cordery and my Instagram as Malu T. Cord. Great. Thank you. Don't now go anywhere. I'm standing here with, tell me your name. Sue Fitch. Sue, tell me a little bit about what you do. Um, the hair and makeup director with John Lewis in the back, back of house. Mm -hmm. And what we do mainly is make sure that all the designers get their... Um, literal interpretation of their creative vision. They show us the pictures, send us the looks, and we make sure that we have consistency and they get their dream realized. I'll tell you what, you guys have been doing a fabulous job this week. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank yeah, you. We appreciate that. It's I've, a lot of work and there's a lot of people that are involved doing it. And yeah. obviously um, you see all the bustle in the back. Yep. But everybody knows the parts that they have to do, and everybody is team members and pitch in when they need to help, and it's been fantastic. It, it has been. So how do we find you if we were looking for you on social media? My Instagram is fitch.beauty and Sue Fitch on Facebook. So I do, um, I work in a hair salon, Platinum Hair Bar. That's my day job. Okay. Um, but I've done quite a bit of work with Charlotte Scene and fashion shows and I did Bali trip with them last year, and it's been nice. it's been an exciting trip. So, are you doing the Greece Italy trip? 
Um, we gave that to somebody else to have an opportunity. Okay. Yep. That's fine. That's <laughs> and good. to do my day job. My customers get a little upset if I'm gone too long. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes absolutely. <laughs> so we'll be doing tomorrow's show and uh, looking forward to the finale. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. That Thank you. <laughs> so tell me your name. Altor Olson. And tell me what you're expecting to see out there on the runway tonight. Oh, my favorite part is the recycle stuff. I, I really enjoy that. Um, it's amazing what people can make out of stuff. And um, for the past yeah. few years, I've been coming to that show. Oh, nice. So do you um, have any idea what you're going to see tonight? I have no idea. In fact, I like the surprise when I come every year. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be incredible. I know that. I've had I've had the opportunity to interview some of the designers, mm -hmm. and they sound very creative. Really, very creative. I can't wait. So. I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. here's another designer. Tell me your name. My name is Tevin Baskerville. I am the designer for Untitled Facade. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. So I specialize in custom capes and jackets, and with that, I just like making just really extravagant pieces that you can wear to different events and things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw a little bit of that last night, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was um, that was actually my first line uh, called Icon, which was really something that I kind of put towards iconic wear or something mm -hmm. that um, some of my favorite icons would probably wear like Prince or Michael Jackson or even, oh, yeah, you know, definitely. just the modern day icons that you would see every single day. Um, today we're actually doing another one, which is, which I call Reds. And so the whole, the entire line is pretty much red. Um, we have like different accents of stuff, but it's really kind of like extravagant because red is my favorite color. So. Yep. I see it on you today. <laughs> All right. So um, if we were looking for you on social media, where would we find you? You'll find me at the Tevin B or at Untitled Facade. Okay, one last question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite fabric to work with? Ooh, my favorite fabric to work with. It would probably be... I would probably say like a tweed type fabric, like a twill, I'm sorry, twill type yep. fabric because it's, it's it's a little easier for line work and everything like oh, that. Absolutely. And it, yes. it just, it makes everything just as easy and simple as possible. I kind of like simple, but making simple more extravagant. Right. Or if I do have a extravagant fabric, I'll make it, I'll make the extravagant fabric into something simple. So I really like just yep. mixing it up. A that makes bit. sense from mm. what I saw last night too. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. So tell me your name. Wesley Mancini. And tell me a little bit about you. I'm a fabric designer. Do I want me to look here? Yeah. Um, I'm a fabric designer and I'm a judge for Fashion Week. And how is that going? It's going great. We had a really big turnout last night. It was a long show. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about tonight because it's the recyclables. Or not the recyclables. The recyclables fashion. and emerging designers, right? Yes. Yeah. So is judging easy or hard? Um, for me, it's easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what, what you're looking for right away. Yeah, and yeah, you can uh, recognize talent and the it factor. The it factor. Yeah. Tell me about that. Uh, it, it, it has to encompass the entire look, um, how the model is wearing the clothes, how the clothes are uh, designed, and if it's well uh, put together so you don't see any seams or mm -hmm. um, frayed edges, and the couture. Um, and also if there's uh, content, if it's uh, like a, an, uh, a creative thought that you haven't seen before. Oh, I like that one too. And also that the textiles are innovative textiles and they're not like something you've seen a thousand times already. Right, right. Yeah, that makes a difference Yeah. for a piece to stand out. So if we were looking for you on social media, where would we find you? Um, well, WesleyMancini.com is... Um, name of my company okay that would be the best place yeah all right Leslie thank you sure. so tell me who you are I'm Michelle McLaughlin I work for Social House Vodka and we are expanding to Charlotte we're big 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 in Raleigh and uh, I'm the new sales rep here in Charlotte and nice. good vodka guys support the locals all right, that sounds good. I do some demos for liquor demos and stuff. So. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, so wow. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, so we might have to bottle? touch base. This is it. 
right here, so there shout out to Vodka. All right. And uh, locally made in North Carolina. Uh, everything, um, it's distilled in Kingston and huge in Raleigh and coming to Charlotte just to make all the locals happy. <laughs> That's right. So how do we find you on social media? You can uh, so follow us on Instagram at your social uh, house, your social house, and um, website www.socialhousevodka.com. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just follow us, guys. All right, do that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so tell me your name. My name is Vinancio Tadeo. I'm from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And tell me some, something about your line that you have. My line is avant-garde and mostly a wedding gown and I have boutique in the Philippines. Oh, neat. Yeah. All right, so... Um, and I, I travel all over the world for uh, doing my job, you know, like designings and everything like that. Sounds like fun. My inspiration is our woods, like a forest, flowers, mm. colors and everything like that. Excellent. So if someone was looking for you, how would they find you on social media? As in my Facebook. Okay. Vinan Shetadio. All right. And that's it. Like it on in there, and then I'll be there. All right. So, what's your favorite fabric to work with? Uh, pay, uh, right now, chiffon. Chiffon. Yes. Okay. But you said paper, so is that another it's medium? It's recycles. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do it recycles too. Okay. All so right. So, if you look in my Facebook, you can see all my my uh, work over there. Great. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You're all right, welcome. So I found a designer, but you're not showcasing tonight. Oh, I'm not a designer. You're not a designer. Sorry, You're a guest. I'm just a guest. Oh, well, hi, hi. guest. All right, Hello. so tell me your name. My daughter's a model. Um, okay. Shelly Poor. And tell me a little bit about what you're expecting here at Charlotte I'm Fashion Week tonight. I'm expecting a, a totally different kind of show with a really big, long runway, which will be kind of exciting to see, mm -hmm. and um, new designers. Yeah. And so, yeah, looking forward to a good show. There's a lot of recyclable designers tonight awesome. and um, uh, emerging designers. Oh, it's so, so much fun. It's going to be fun. Yes, for sure. Great. Looking forward so, to it. So, Melanie, it's so good to see you again. Thank Tell me you. your full name. My name is Maria Gallardo. I'm oh, Maria. Sorry, Maria. I've been calling you Melanie for like all I night. Know. That's too funny. That's fine. That's okay, fine. Thank you. She answers too. My, my name is Maria Gallardo. I'm owner of the designs by Mia. All right. And now tell me a little bit about your designs. Okay. For tonight, I have two uh, dresses. One is for um, plastic bag, um, cans, the soda cans. The other is the drop pepper. Okay. And um, feather. Feather. Nice. Well, I can't wait to see how you did that. Oh, that was really gorgeous. I, Believe yeah. me, it's really gorgeous. Both. Both dresses really gorgeous. Oh, gosh. She, I've walked for her before and she does great stuff. Thank I love you. it. Thank it feels so, so good to be in it too. So, yes. Thank you so right. much. How do we find you on social media if we're looking for you? Okay. And um, for Facebook, is Designs by Mia and Instagram is Designs by Mia 2 and Twitter is Designs by Mia 8. Thank you. Thank you so much.